Some promises should never be broken. If we promise even the youngest skin can look great. It happens. If we promise skin texture improves. You see it. You do. If we promise it works like young skin's fluid and grieflessly penetrates. In a blink. And if we promise it softens but won't clog pores. And that young skin will look unbelievable. Believe it. Oil of Olay. We keep our promise to young skin. People in Wade County no good when they taste it. Multigrain Cheerios. Four whole grains blended into four tasty holes. The taste is multigrain and Cheerios good. For three days only at Sears, every gallon of paint, every roll of wallpaper is on sale. Save 10 to 33% on every gallon of paint and 33% on every wallpaper pattern in stock. But hurry, sale ends Saturday at Sears. <laughs> Mrs. Burke. Can't be too careful, Charlie. Have you seen my husband? Uh, yes, ma'am. Isaiah's in the barn. Going over plans for the trip north. If he needs me when he's done, I'll be looking in on that new cult. Sure thing, Mrs. Burke.
prettiest rider Russell Majors and Waddell ever to go. Thank you. <laughs> of course, now that ain't saying much. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to get your name put on it. Kids, too, except, of course, we didn't know what it was. An apron? Well, now that you're hanging with the kids so much, uh, feeding him is like slopping the hogs. An apron? Not that you'll be spending all your time taking care of the kid. That's for sure. What, with the little ones and all? Little ones. Children. Thought you could put these needles to some use. How about now? Whoa! <laughs> Don't you boys head on back up to the house and get dinner on the table. We'll be up in a minute. <laughs> you know, they're just joshing with you because Kit's not here to defend you. You treat me like I'm a girl. Oh. Well, everybody's probably going to figure it out when you get married in a couple of days. Guess you're right. Guess I got some explaining to do. Just thought there'd be more to my future than this. Now you listen to me. The future is what you and Kid make it. And from where I'm standing, that looks mighty bright. Come on, let's go get some dinner before it gets cold. I'll be right in. All right. someone wanted to spend the rest of their life with me. Well, you never know. Some folks like to believe there's someone out there for everyone. And lose the one for you. There ain't nothing that's gonna make me prouder than walking her down the aisle and giving her away. up with the kid what's she supposed to call herself what do you mean what I mean is mrs. kid doesn't sound very good to me when are you two knuckleheads gonna realize I can't pronounce the man and wife until the kid spills the beans these food I know you're in there you old lead belly bucket of south slop I know that voice Come on out here and meet the kind of man you wish you could be. That's Tommy Erbach. I used to ride with him in the Texas Rangers. Peace, boo! Tommy! Hey! Hey! How are you? Last time I've seen you was at your wedding. I danced with your wife. Didn't turn out too well, Peace Boo. What you doing in that house? You're going to see half the town in this outfit when I get done. I'm here recruiting for the Army. We're setting up camp right outside town. There was a raid on a safe house where Isaiah Burke was hiding runaway slaves. Slaves were taken. Isaiah and his men were killed. What about Nathan? The station master didn't know. Was he still riding with him? I don't know. Jimmy. Look, I may have had my differences with Nathan, but he is still married to my sister. I gotta see if they're all right. I'm going with you. You got too much on your mind already, kid. I don't want you missing your wedding on account of me. Well, it's on the way. Besides, I can't marry Lou if there's no one there to give her away. Hi, 
Lou. Don't you know there's something different about me? Nice riff. You knew? Well, of course I knew. What you take me for, some kind of an old fool? It just wasn't none of my business what you wanted to wear. I just figured that's the way you wanted to go about things. Well, the reason why I'm here is because Kid and I are getting married day after tomorrow. And we wanted to invite you to our wedding. I always thought there was something squirrely going on between you two. <laughs> I'd be honored to go to your wedding, Lou. And I'm real happy for both of you. Thanks. Nephew. I got a nephew. The hell 
Murphy boy. <laughs> I was there, we're so looking forward to seeing that child. We heard it was Southern Raiders. Any idea who? It's all right, you don't have to worry about the kid. Ma'am, I might be from the South, but men who've done things like this, it makes no difference where they're from. They're led by men named Pearson. Ready to do anything for the cause. Whether it be stealing their slaves back or gunning down anything in a blue uniform. He hated everything Isaiah stood for. If Pearson knew about Isaiah, then he must know about you, right? Obviously, it ain't safe for you here. I know. But there's something here I can't leave without. It's a picture of Isaiah. I gave it to Nathan for safekeeping. What do you say we help her look for? Him? This is something you ought to talk over long and hard with your malls and paws. Because fact is, some of you that rides with me ain't gonna come back. But those of you that do are gonna earn the thanks of your loved ones, your country, and those of you that stays behind. How many men you looking to sign? As many as I can get, son. As long as they got the stuff the soldiers are made of. What's that, sir? The eyes of a fox, the strength of a blacksmith, and the wiles of a riverboat gambler. Well, tell me where to sign. You sure about this? Yeah, it's the right thing to do. Yeah! yeah. You talk to your folks about this? Ain't got no folks, sir. In that case, son, the United States Army is proud to have you. Just put your John Henry right there. Hold it! Tommy, I thought you and me had a long chat about this. You haven't been back to Texas in a while, have you? Same thing's happening down there, partner. Except those boys are going to be shooting at this uniform instead of wearing it. The Kansas-Missouri border's been on fire for years, and each day it's headed farther north. Pretty soon it's gonna rip right down that street! Yeah, it will. Um, True. I don't think you understand what they're gonna ask you to do. You'll learn soon enough. Man's got a point, Teaspoon. Cody, I got enough trouble without you getting in the middle of this. I already am. Hell, all of us are. I heard you tell Jimmy that if war broke out, you was going south. I said I'd be going home. Maybe. It's different. No, it ain't, Teaspoon. Let's face it. It's time to stop talking and start choosing sides. Michael. It's the right thing to do, Teaspoon. about this? This is it. Good. Well, Jimmy, we best get moving on. Well, maybe you should stay with Celinda and Nathan up in Seneca. We could ride with you part of the way, at least. I don't want to be any trouble. Well, if I didn't have to get back and, and get the kids bride away here, I'd, I'd take you there myself. Come on, let's saddle up. I'll be right out. You will.
next Saturday and the one ten years from now. Louise, there's nothing to be scared of. Oh, I was thinking about the kid. Maybe he's scared. He was supposed to be back from his run this morning. Maybe he just kept on going. Getting married to you is the most important thing the kid has ever done. How do you know? He told me. He did? He said there was only one thing in the world to keep him from getting back in time for your wedding. What's that? Nothing. Oh, I almost forgot to give you that. <sighs> At least it's too small to be a crib. <laughs> pretty, aren't they? My mama gave them to me the night before I got married, and my grandmother gave them to her, and I want you to have them. I can't take these. Please. It's important to me. I don't know if I'll ever have a daughter. But if I do, I hope she grows up to be just like you. Get you settled up just fine. James Webb. There's something I need to tell you. Okay. I lied to you. Back at the cabin. This was hidden behind the picture. It's just a bunch of letters. It's in code. It's a list of the men who ride with Pearson and others like him. Isaiah got it from a turncoat. He decided to hide it at Nathan's cabin. I didn't know it was in code. I wanted to tell you, James, but I didn't know about Kid. I know how he felt about what Isaiah was doing. Well, maybe you can trust him. But I can't. What are you going to do with this? Use it. Huh? To find Pearson so I can make him pay for what he did to Isaiah. James, you've got to help me get this to someone who can read it. If you don't, what happened to Isaiah could happen to someone else. Someone like Nathan. The smartest person I know is Teaspoon Hunter. If anybody be able to figure it out, he would. Jimmy! Sorry I took so long. I had to pick a couple things up. You ready to go? There's been a change in plans. Uh, Rosemary's coming with us. It's been a long time since I've been in a wedding. Mm -hmm. If that's okay with you. Sure. We'll head out in the morning. Let's get some rooms. All right, let's do it. Just because Cody don't know any better don't mean the boy's got to act like a jackass. He ain't a boy no more, Teaspoon. None of us are. Fact is, that recruiter makes a whole lot of sense to me. It's because you don't know what it's like for people like me and Teaspoon. My brother Frank, having your farm burned down by abolitionists? I had my farm burned down. I had my daddy lynched right in front of my face. You ain't never had chains around your ankles or noose around your neck, have you? We gotta stop this. We're supposed to be a family. We're supposed to stay together. Lou and Kid are getting married tomorrow. And you two are acting like you're gonna kill each other by nightfall. Buck's right. Sorry, son. We're forgetting the most important thing, and that's to give Lou and the kid the best damn wedding they ever dreamed of. <laughs> that's a 
Pretty fancy pair of boots you got there. Nice gloves, too. Where'd you get them? Oh, I bought them in town. Where'd you get the money? You've been borrowing off me for weeks. Well, let's just say it's an advance. What kind of advance? <sighs> I signed up with the Army today, Teaspoon. Cat Murbach's gonna use me as a scout. you to our brightest new star. Come on now, settle down. Okay, take 50. We'd love to, if only we could get him to sit still. This fall, Mark Curry stars in Hanging with Mr. Cooper. The Young Riders will continue in a moment. Saturday, it's double the golf action with two championship events. First, the international field of the game legends teed it off at the British Senior Open. Then the brightest stars in women's golf battle it out for our national crown. Defending champ Meg Mallon and the LPGA's best meet as live coverage of the U.S. Women's Open begins. It's all Saturday on ABC Sports. It was a tragedy, a loophole in the law that put our children at risk. When this story broke, I got a call from Dave Honeyman. Wanted to know what he could do in the Senate to keep this from happening again. Dave and I got together with Richard and we proposed a new law to require criminal background checks on people who deal with our kids. Dave Honeyman led the bill through the Senate. He was effective. And our kids are going to be safer for him. Dave gets things done. That's something we really could use in Washington these days. Someone to make things happen. Dave Honeyman has. More of his ideas to change Michigan have become law than some senators have in a career. He hasn't won every battle, but he's been on our side. It's no wonder Dave Honigman was named Legislator of the Year by the Police Officers Association of Michigan. He'll be a real change in Congress. Dave Honigman, Republican for Congress. Man trying to commit suicide on the freeway creates terror. We'll have his story at 11 for you. Son, I don't know how you could have done something. 
something so foolish. It may be foolish to you, Teaspoon, but to me it's my duty. Is that what the recruiter's been saying? Look, he ain't told me anything that I don't already know. You don't have the faintest idea what it's going to be like out there. You're right, I don't. But I do know what it's going to be like around here, Teaspoon. The Pony Express is dying. They're stringing up those lines for the telegraph faster than we can ever ride. Soon there ain't going to be no need for no way stations. There ain't going to be no need for no machilla. Teaspoon, listen to me. Everyone in the whole town is ready to sign up. I don't understand why you two are so upset with me. Because we care about you. Both of us. Well, you two ain't my folks. So stop acting like it. Cody. going on around here they're growing up uh, don't look like they're following us good now maybe you can tell me what the hell's going on here wait a second what are you talking about she knows what I'm talking about those gunmen knew her those men were lying in wait for you if I'm gonna get caught in a crossfire I think you ought to tell me why I don't know yeah, you do. She's got her reasons for keeping her mouth shut, kid. You telling me you knew about this, Jimmy? You don't understand. You're damn right I don't. What are you two hiding from me? Show him. He ain't gonna rest until he sees him. Show him. Pearson's men and where they are. You couldn't trust me with this? It's not about trust, kid. The hell it isn't. She's telling you to keep this from me because I'm from the South. You think by now you know what my loyalties are. Look, kid, look. No, you look. These little games you've been playing almost got us killed. Hey, what you think? You know what I think? I think that now that her husband's dead, all you care about is taking his place. In more ways than one. Yeah, but I'm thinking 
thinking about him a lot lately. Remember that time we got him cornered in that old sodbuster shack? Yeah, I wanted to go get him through the front door. And I wanted to go in the back door. <laughs> we must have chewed on that one for a half a day. Finally, we figured he'd have guns on both doors. So we busted through the roof. <laughs> I tried to haul your butt up there. <laughs> but I'm the one who had to go through first. You remember the look on his face when you landed on him? <laughs> That's a good bit heavier then. Like to have broke his back. Well, Tommy, you and me, we always argued like dogs. We could always find a common ground. Yep. Well, guess it ain't gonna happen this time, is it? Simpler times. The simpler times. Yourself, but you're not fooling me. Your troubles aren't just gonna wash away. Rosemary, when are you gonna leave this alone? I can't. It's hurting you and that hurts me. Like it or not, you and Kid care about each other. You must think we got a funny way of showing it. I never meant to come between the two of you. The only thing that's coming between us is the same thing that's cutting this country in two. Which is why it's important that you stick by him now. It's only going to get harder later. Your friend is getting married tomorrow. Don't you think you ought to share that with him? Case of the wrong hands, we ain't the only ones who could pay. The fellas we're joining up with, they could suffer too. Well, I heard she is headed for Rock Creek. Then I guess we are too. Let's go. Pretty tune. I always liked it. What are you doing up this late? Waiting for someone. Couldn't sleep. Me neither. So you went and did it, huh? Just in time. Gorillas were acting up at the border. What's the matter? Here you are heading off to fight. I'm nervous about getting married tomorrow. You getting married? That's the plan. Well, good luck. Hey. You take care of yourself. That's the plan. See ya. not. What happened? 
Katie took a fall. She's fine. I would have got here sooner, so I had to stop in Dixon. Pick these up. They match. They're beautiful. Yep, just like you. Here, you take mine. I can't wait to get it back from you tomorrow. Where's Jimmy? I don't know. Something happened between you two, didn't it? Now, Lou, don't you worry about that. The important thing is, is that I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. Come here. <laughs> I promise you one thing, you know, tomorrow's gonna be the most memorable day of our lives. <laughs> The first padded dash, the first shoulder harness, the first to install airbags in every car and minivan they built, the first car to offer both dual airbags and the world's only built-in child seat. At a time when it has become fashionable to hop on the safety bandwagon, we thought you'd like to know who built the bandwagon. In the car business you lead, follow, or get out of the way. Mom's little helper help make a greasy, smelly mess? Get it solved. New Pine Sol spray formula gets it clean, fresh, pine soft. Grimy bathroom surfaces, another little hassle? Get it solved. Spray, wipe, it's Pine Solved. Pine Sol spray, clean, fresh, in a new spray formula. With each new day, you find a way to be your best. Gillette Sensor for the closest, safest shave ever. You know you gotta be a little better than the rest. Only Gillette Sensor has spring-mounted twin blades that sense and adjust to every detail of every face. Gillette Sensor, when you're the best, there's no feeling like it. Gillette, the best of men. Jordan Fitness Fun Happy Meal. Boy, what this is going to do for my Billy. Billy Cocos pushes to the basket and slams it over Jordan. Billy's really come alive, Jim. Well, Bobby is training with McDonald's Fitness Fun Happy Meal. Is it the toys? Or maybe the fitness program he gets with every $1.99 Happy Meal is loving dad buys him. Just look at him go. Look at him go. McDonald's Hamburger Happy Meal. Just $1.99. Kids got potential. Thanks. Breakfast. We gotta get your hair done. 
is the most serious commitment one can make. But if two people are more suited for each other to get hitched, then I have met them. Take my word for it. Nobody knows more about marriage than me. Now, if anyone should object to this union, and I certainly hope no one does, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Louise, do you promise to take time to fess up, kid?
Louise, do you promise to take Kit to be your lawful wedded husband, to love and cherish, to honor and obey, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? Kid, do you promise to take Louise to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and cherish, to honor and obey in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. You may now exchange the rings. With this ring, I do thee wed. With this ring, I do thee wed. By the powers invested in me by the territorial governor, I now pronounce you man and wife. It's fun, but we got a mess of trouble down on the border.
Morning, here's something new and good for you. This time your kids will eat it. Cereal that tastes like the bark of a tree. Don't worry, your kids will eat it. Actually, it's more like a stick. A cinnamon stick. It's new, more cinnamon life. It tastes so cinnamon good. Unless they're weird, your kids will eat it. Coming up next. I love you. The honeymoon is cut short. Come on, now, let's move it out! A civil war erupts. Ah, it's a trap! And a dear friend is lost. God bless you, son. Bye. The final chapter of The Young Riders next. I'm Chris Wallace. Later on Nightline, evangelicals speak out. The head of the Traditional Values Coalition debates Republicans for Choice tonight. Stay tuned for the conclusion of tonight's Young Riders next. time for America's favorite sitcom. Ah! It's the season's top-rated new show. What are we going to do about Brad and Randy? They keep tormenting Mark. Why, we had Mark, so they'd leave us alone. Home Improvement kicks off a special... There's just no one, and there's no mistake in Hello, Joe. What do you know? delicious ice cream dilemma called Viennetta. How can a dessert with crispy chocolatey layers and velvety vanilla ice cream look so incredibly rich and indulgent, yet taste so unbelievably light and delicate? What a dilemma. Maybe a second slice will help you decide. New Viennetta from Good Humor. One slice is never enough. Saddam Hussein going to make another big mistake? Is the U.S. going to hit one of our stories at 11?
know, Diet Pepsi is now for everyone. That's right, Ray. Meet my twin brother, Irv. And our twin, Peter Vance. With caffeine-free Diet Pepsi, I get all that great aha uh -huh taste, but there's no caffeine. Sing it, brother. Uh -huh. photo finishes happen where you see the Kodak color watch seal. This seal means great color. And every print's on Kodak paper. No seal? Who knows? This was my classic finish, the dead heat.
Ferguson and the others on that list are mounting an armed insurrection against this country. That piece of paper you have may be the only way we have to stop them. I don't know what you're talking about. Rosemary. Like it or not, it could be your best way to find the man who killed Isaiah. We don't want those killers loose for another second. Go ahead. It's at the hotel. Well, let's go. Feels like we ought to be riding with him to Rock Creek. Nah, it's better this way. Besides, anybody can get that list. He can. Captain Murbach. I wonder if I could talk to you for a minute. You betcha. I've been thinking about what you said the other day about the Army needing a few good men. Yep, that's right, son. Are you looking at one? Uh-huh. Uh, I think we got a bit of a misunderstanding here. Now, believe me, I can fight alongside the best of them. I don't doubt that. It's just, you see, this man's army ain't quite ready for you. Well, what do you mean? I know what he means, Cody. He means this man's army don't want no colors. I'm sorry, but I don't make the rules, son. If I had my way, I'd have you in uniform right now. Now, hold on just a minute, Captain. Noah here would make a fine soldier. I don't doubt that. I wish I could help you. Captain Urbach, here's your list. You won't regret this, ma'am. Your country thanks you, and I thank you. The captain's a good man. He's gonna take care of things. I ain't so sure about that, Cody. You know, it's kind of funny how folks are willing to die for the likes of me. They're not willing to let me fight alongside them. Special for you, sir? Not for me. For a brave young soldier who died today. They are a Lee.
sunshine came along with me and swallows in the air. Pizza! No, it makes me wanna jump. Football! Jump. Tacos! Jump. Soccer! Jump. Shout gets out more stains better. That's why more women prefer Shout over spray and wash. So whether it's spaghetti! Shout it out! Come on now! Hot pies! Shout it out! Homework! Unfortunately, there are some things even Shout can't get rid of. Wanna talk, stay it out, shout it out! For messy Johnson wax. And yet there's still only one place dedicated to giving it your way. And is the number one maker of chicken sandwiches. We're the one, not one, but two. says it's the same medicine as in prescription Motrin, but in non-prescription strength. Really works on my headaches. So go relax. I'll take care of Mr. Duck. Motrin IB, the relief of Motrin in non-prescription strength. She knows me. As long as she believes in me, we can take on the world. And we will if we have to. Just you watch. Jason and Leanne, one life to live. Just you watch. Pretty good at that, little brother. Frank, what are you doing here? Last I heard, you were dogging federal troops in Missouri. I still am. I came to get you. Are you ready? It ain't quite that simple, Frank. No, it is that simple. War's gonna break out any day, Jesse. You're either on one side or you're on the other. There ain't no middle ground. So what's it gonna be? Whoever figured out that code knew what he was doing, Captain. Are you sure Pearson's there? Him and about 20 others. Nobody seen you? No, sir. Fine work, Mr. Cody. Fine work. Sergeant! Form break! Troop! Form break! Gentlemen. What you're about to hear has to remain in strictest confidence. In less than 24 hours, this company will commence a series of attacks. It's kind of quiet around here without Kid and Lou. Evening, everybody. Maybe you spoke too soon. I uh, need somebody to cover a run for me. Again? I'll make it up to you. Cody, you want to tell me what's so all fired and port and you can't carry your weight around here? I can't do that, Teaspoon. And why not? Because I can't do it, that's why. This is about the list, isn't it? Erbach's broken the code, ain't he? He's planning something, huh? Look, I've already said enough, and I can't say any more. Now I gotta go. Teaspoon. If the army does figure out that list, what do you think's gonna happen? Nothing good. Oh, no, don't you think that depends on which side you're on? No, I don't. I never thought the Mason Dixit line would come right down through here. Who is it? It's me. 
I'll be right there. Hi. Hi. I, I saw the light under the door, so I thought I'd... Come in. Something wrong? Yeah. I just don't know what it is. What happened at supper tonight? It's hard. Seeing your friends and family torn apart. Yeah, it is. If things keep going like this, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. War brother against brother, and we have to do whatever it takes to make sure the right side wins. <laughs> what? You sound like Isaiah. Do I? Mm -hmm. You miss him, don't you? Yes, I do. I began missing him a long time before he died. You want to talk about it? Yes. But not tonight. I'm really tired. There is one thing you could do. Sure, that's everything. Yeah, I swear. When we leave. Soon, little brother, real soon. Ain't nothing gonna happen to Cody, is it? He's a friend of mine. Look, Jesse, he's working for the Federals, ain't he? Yeah, but. Look, I'll do what I can. What you doing here, Frank? Ain't you heard, Marshal? There's a war coming. I came to get my brother. Hell, I heard you're a Texas boy. Maybe you'd like to join us. Jesse. I want you to say goodbye to your brother right now or go with him. Because I don't want to see his face around here again. You understand? Those men killed my husband. It's 
still ain't no place for a woman. Just like the army's no place for someone like you? Of all people, you should know how I feel. Well, I can't let you go alone. And don't. Let's go. Fall in the hood.
course she's singing. Her dealer gave her a great deal on Corolla, ranked one of the top 10 cars in initial quality. Everyone can get great deals during the Love a Toyota sales event with big factory-to-dealer incentives. And you'll love how your dealer can save you up to $1,100 on Corolla's package of options or drive out with a terrific deal on a Tercel, the lowest-priced two-door sedan in America. You've got to sing, but hurry. Sales event ends soon. I love what you do for me. Tercel? Corolla! Do you know what's changing? Today's pork, 31% less fat. Pork, the other white meat. People in Wade cowed in no good when they tasted multi-grain Cheerios. Four whole grains blended into four tasty O's. The taste is multi-grain and Cheerios good. Saturday, a domestic squabble. Hey, 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 hey! Gets way out of hand. Children, you believe me, don't you? This is a police investigation. And a grieving husband is out to even the score. The commish, Saturday. We'll get this guy. The Young Riders will continue in a moment. <laughs> Sunday, Shelley Long and Bette Midler have one thing in common. <laughs> We're looking for a specific man, so we can kill him. Now all's fair in love and war. <laughs> Outrageous fortune. <laughs> Sunday. To inaugurate their new swimming pool, the Lake Edna Thompsons had a splashy event with food from KFC. They picked up a whole lot of the Colonel's original recipe, just $9.99 for 15 pieces. Everyone dove into that delicious KFC chicken which was the only diving Mr. Thompson permitted. KFC Original Recipe, 15 pieces, just $9.99. A hot deal in Lake Edna or your neck of the woods. Tyson, Helmsley, Baker, they all turn to just one man. My job is not to get anybody into heaven. My job is to keep people out of jail. One man who's got chutzpah. You don't have to know how to pronounce chutzpah to need it. Bill Bonds talks to controversial counsel Alan Dershowitz. And take a look at the new trend in tunes. It's got us loving and laughing all over again. Plus, Eric Smith puts the pedal to the metal on Motor City's own fast track. Catch a ride on the next Metro, Friday, 9.30 on 7. Many injured as a man tries to commit suicide on the freeway. One of our stories at 11 tonight. Wasn't your fault, son. You done everything you could. He didn't have any people, did he? Besides us? Mm -mm. I'm so sorry. It wasn't your fault, Rosemary. Who said it wasn't? This whole thing started with her. Yeah. Hold it. Stop it. Both of you. Mr. Cody. Tom can't just wait. Very sorry about your rider, Teaspoon, but I lost 14 men today. And if this Jesse James gave us away, I have to know. Cody. know where Jesse is, Teaspoon? We don't know for sure it was Jesse. No, nope. and I guess it was just an accident that Frank was on the other side of this massacre? Stop it! You may not trust each other, but at least have some respect for the dead. Soldier, go ahead.
Well, I ain't got the time right now. Cody, are you all right? Just leave me alone, Rachel. No, not after what happened this morning. Yeah, well, if I'm going to be a soldier, I'm just going to have to get used to these things. You're going after Jesse, aren't you? He's just a boy. There are a lot of boys out there today, Rachel. Most of them are dead now. You understand? Jesse? Uh, no. You know, when I first started looking for him, I wanted to kill him. And then I found myself hoping that he was gone, so. I guess the rest of your friends are spending their time wishing that I hadn't arrived in the first place. Rosemary, don't, don't oh, say that. James, don't say it isn't so. If it wasn't for me, Noah would still be alive. Why is it that everything that ought to bring me joy ends up bringing grief? A son, a husband, and now a friend, all dead. And somehow I feel it's my fault. I know how you feel. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Things have happened my whole life that I would give anything to forget. But I know I never will. There ain't a day that goes by where I don't feel that same pain. How do you live with it? Friends. Then you should let this friend help you. James. Watch out! Come on, help me on the horse. Let's get out of here. Oh, 
we special or what? Somebody got us post raisin brand. It's premium. What's premium? It means it's special like us. Look at this premium flake. You see the whole wheat and wheat brand? That's why it's so good for us. You know everything, Daddy. And somebody knows we love lots of big plump raisins. I got so many. Wow, premium. Somebody sure must think we're special. It must be mommy. Post raisin brand. It's premium. And that makes everybody feel like somebody special. Kid and Cody for me. Tell Rachel and Lou I'll miss him. I better go. Yes, sir. You done the right thing. I'll never forget you, Teaspoon. Sorry, I hit you, Jim. 
coming for us. You ride? I think so. All right. I'll meet you at Elk Creek tomorrow. Jesse. I can't go with you yet. There's something I gotta do. What? Don't worry, Frank. I'll be there. seek for succor but of thee, O Lord, for who our sins thou art justly displeased, O Lord, most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the pains of eternal death, but to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. I guess, uh, I guess I've seen more than my fair share of funerals. Kind of got used to them. Seemed like there was a natural part of life. But this, this here, this ain't natural. What's happening around us ain't natural nation being divided. Friends are turning against friends. Family against family. And it's all leading to the same place. And that place is here. In cemeteries like this. The grief-stricken friends and family like this. Young lives cut short long before their time. We're allowing ourselves to be ripped apart. And I'm telling you right now, if we don't start thinking about healing instead of killing, we're going to lose everything. Our homes, our, our friends, our families. Whether you knew Noah Dixon or not, his passing should mean as much to you as those of us who consider him our friend and part of our family.
Crock Turnstile? Turnstile. That sweet, buttery taste reminds me of dinner on the farm. Try the sweet, buttery taste of Country Crock Churn Style. Like regular Country Crock, it has fewer calories and no cholesterol. It's good humor time. Girls, get it. Chocolate eclair. Strawberry shortcake. Toasted almond. And chocolate candy crunch. Hey, the name will take you back. The taste will take you away. This is a tough business. Half of the time is spent cleaning. So you learn a few shortcuts. There's no secret formula for cleaning grease unless it's Formula 409. Nothing works harder and nothing works faster. Formula 409, your secret formula for cutting grease. Just because you go all out doesn't mean you got to stink. Because Old Spice works. Man, does it work. Fights wetness, kills bacteria. The proof? Hey, hot shot. You're looking at it. Old Spice <laughs> antiperspirant. For great odor protection, you demand proof, not promises. E Monday, it's a night of music and memories. First, the Happy Days gang will take you back to one of America's best loved shows with rarely seen bloopers of your favorite stars. My mom, my dad. The Happy Days reunion. Then, the night gets outrageous with Michael Jackson, Madonna, Mel Gibson, R.E.M., and more. A look at 10 years that changed the way we see music. MTV's 10th anniversary, following the Happy Days reunion, Monday. Coming this fall. Epic adventure from a new time and place. A place called Covington Cross. He claimed her death resulted from violent sex. A jury called it murder. This is Charles Gibson. Tomorrow with the preppy murderer, get parole. The victim's mother speaks out tomorrow on Good Morning America. Stay tuned for Primetime Live next. single combo. It's a quarter a pound of fresh beef, hot off the grill, made just the way you want it. Plus, 